what how, what advice would you give to somebody who wants to start reading poetry, who wants to become more cultured, more literate, a little less v vacuous, who wants to get into poetry, because it, I mean, it's the thing, it's happening these days, you know, it's like kind of, kind of a trendy thing these days. Um, what, what advice could you give to the layman? How, how do we get into this poetry thing? I don't, I don't have a fucking idea. Really? really. <laughs> I, don't, I don't read poetry very much. I don't read much of it at all. I like books about... Uh, how to make clocks or mm -hmm. how to fly a balloon, things okay. like that. Yeah. That's the stuff. That and do you I find that you fly a lot of balloons? Never. No, no but I'm learning. But you don't have a book. Yeah, okay. It. So if there were like a situation where you were on the lamb and you had to get into a balloon and fly it somewhere, I would be better off than all of you. <laughs> Guaranteed. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna cut away for a quick commercial, but when we come back, we're gonna talk more about your poetry, Jason Dixon. Thanks for joining us, Jason Dixon, ladies and gentlemen. Suicidal or homicidal ideation, anal leakage, and or vaginal ulcers. <laughs> also available is new Felix for children. Not available in Quebec for some reason. <laughs> All right, very good. Felix, ladies and gentlemen, feel the love, the pharmaceutical love. Jason Dixon, you are a poet. <laughs> yes. By nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing going to stop you from being a poet. No. Short of a uh, global cataclysm, I imagine. Um, so, um, you have a stack of papers. It suggests to me that you possibly have brought some poetry I have to, read. to read. Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to hear some poetry? Now, pay attention because this could be your entry into the fashionable, high-profile world of poetry, alright? I don't want any snickering. I don't want any people going to the bar, getting a beer, you listen quietly. This is poetry, okay? This is not some cheap-ass comedy show, alright? So, ladies and gentlemen, here is a poem from the learned Jason Dixon. This one's called The Great Wall of China. In space, no one can hear you love. Three months up here, in the station, waiting to return. I think of you often while I rotate, like a fallen apple in the air. Monotony, the only weight I feel. A window, the lonely sphere of earth, and you there, somewhere. Your pretty picture, on the console, in a frame, watches as I pilot this cold, barren shell into the stars. I miss you, Sophia. How much longer can I go? How many days are there in space? 